For the first time, researchers have shown that 800,000 brain cells living in a dish can perform goal-directed tasks, in this case, the simple computer game Pong. The Melbourne-led team's dish brain study results were published in the journal Neuron. The research has shown that we can interact with living biological neurons, compelling them to modify their activity and leading to something that resembles intelligence, says lead author Dr. Brett Kagan, chief scientific officer of biotech startup Cortical Labs. DishBrain offers a simpler approach to testing how the brain works and gaining insights into debilitating conditions such as epilepsy and dementia, says Dr. Hongweng Zhong, CEO of Cortical Labs. While scientists have been able to read neurons' activity for some time, this is the first time that cells have been stimulated in a structured and meaningful way. That potentially opens the door for new ways of understanding what is happening with the brain. This new capacity to teach cell cultures to perform a task in which they exhibit sentience by controlling the paddle to return the ball through sensing, opens up new possibilities in technology, health and society, says Dr. Adil Razi, director of Monash University's Computational and Neuroscience Laboratory. The findings also raise the possibility of creating an alternative to animal testing when investigating how new drugs or gene therapies respond in these dynamic environments. The research team took mouse cells from embryonic brains and some human brain cells derived from stem cells and grew them on microelectrode arrays that could both stimulate them and read their activity. Electrodes on the left or right of one array were fired to tell dish brain which side the ball was on, while the frequency of signals indicated distance from the paddle. Feedback from the electrodes taught dish brain how to return the ball by making the cells act as if they were the paddle themselves. We've never before seen how the cells act in a virtual environment, says Kagan. The team built a closed-loop environment that can read what's happening in the cells, stimulate them with meaningful information, and then interactively change the cells so they can alter each other. The beautiful and pioneering aspect of this work rests on equipping the neurons with sensations, the feedback, and crucially the ability to act on their world, says co-author Professor Carl Friston, the genius UCL theoretical neuroscientist that may hold the key to true artificial intelligence. Remarkably, the cultures learned how to make their world more predictable by acting upon it. This is remarkable because you cannot teach this kind of self-organization. Simply because, unlike a pet, these mini-brains have no sense of reward and punishment. The research also supports the free energy principle developed by Professor Friston. This principle proposes that cells at this level try to minimize the unpredictability in their environment. One exciting finding was that dish brain did not behave like silicon-based systems. For example, the neuron's ability to change and adapt their activity as a result of experience increases over time, consistent with what is seen with the cell's learning rate. The team is excited by the discovery and says this is brand new virgin territory. And it's not every day that you wake up and create a new field of science. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah.